Hi all, welcome back to another video from Guide to SolidWorks. Um, I hope you're all well. What I am going to look at today is a quick preview and a tutorial on how we do threads. Now, what I'm going to run through is a thread on a rough sized bolt. I'm not going to go looking for all the specific exact sizes off the internet. I'm just going to do a rough sized bolt from the sizes I roughly know. So, um, I'm going to go on the right plane and I am just going to sketch on there. And I'm going to start off by creating the head of the bolt. So, I'm going to create a polygon. And set that up so i've got the polygon shape i'm just going to create a relationship vertically between them two and set a size across the flats of 16 mil now this is going to be an m10 bolt roughly um, and i'm going to extrude that out by eight millimeters from there then i'm going to create a shaft on the face here and I'm going to sketch on there, and I'm going to extrude that out. It's going to be 10 milli diameter, so 10 milli, and I'm going to extrude that out to 50. Okay, so I've got the very rough shape there of a bolt. Now, the bolt isn't what I'm particularly interested in, it's the thread itself. So let's have a look at how we use the thread tool. So if we're looking at trying to find the thread tool, it's hidden here underneath the hole wizard. So if we go to the hole wizard and click the little arrow underneath, and it brings up some op options. We are after the one that says thread. So if we click on thread, it's just telling me identifying some issues. doesn't matter about that. Carry on. Click OK. It will still let you use the tool. So the first thing I want to do, because it, takes up a lot of processing power and becomes quite difficult to manage is make sure I'm in the right sizes. If we're in a really small fine thread with a large shaft, it will um, cause us loads of issues and it will take ages to load. So what we're going to do is straight away, I'm going to set this to the size that I want. I know it's a 10 milli diameter shaft, so I'm looking for M10. Now I've got some options. I've got taps and dies. For those of you who aren't or haven't spent much time in a workshop before, um, a die is something that we use to put an external thread on a bar. A tap is something that we use to put an ex an internal hole, an ex internal thread inside a hole. Um, and I'm going to work in metric, so I'm going to get a, a metric die because I'm putting a thread on the outside of the shaft. Now, I want it to be an M10 because it's a 10 milli. So I'll go into my drop down bar and find M10. And come along here, M10. And I'm going to go for 1.5, pretty standard. M10, 1.5. So that's in that option there. Okay. Now, what I can do from there is because I now have the values that I want to use and the size of the thread that I'm going to apply, I'm going to click on this end circle, this end edge, and it'll apply it onto the model, like so. Now with that, I can define how far I want it to go. If I say I wanted it to go 40, then it would go 40 down, but it would start from this edge now, if you can see how it started from the edge, I'll just take this and then I can go back and edit it. You'll see there that it actually has not come all the way through. It just starts in the middle of nowhere. So what I want it to do is actually come off the end of here like a normal thread would. So to do that, I'm going to come back in and edit that thread. So right click on it, edit feature. And... I am going to set an offset here. The offset is going to be the pitch of the thread. Now the pitch of the thread is with my M10. So it's M10 1.5. So if I set that there to 1.5 and reverse it, because at the moment my offset is going in, reverse it, it'll come past the end of here by a full pitch of thread. 
meaning that it should rotate off nicely. So if I just preview that, just show you that rather than seeing it as a preview, it now comes off the end of there nicely, like a thread should do. The only issue with this now, I'm just going to go back in, edit that. It's still set at 40 millimeters, but the 40 millimeters is set from where this thread starts. So now it's not exactly 40 millimeters anymore. It's um, 38.5. So I've lost 1.5 millimeters off this end. Now, if that was crucial to the design of a product, that would be an issue. So what we can do is just click this button here that says maintain thread length. And what that means is it will make it so it's 40 from the edge of the material or from the from the selected point that edge rather than 40 from the offset so 40 from this edge rather than 40 from where the uh, actual thread starts now that would create a very nice thread all the way along up to 40 mil um, and if I go that further down here to some options further down I've got some conditions that I can add as well so at the moment, I've drawn a right-hand thread. Just with a click of the button, I can turn that to a left-hand thread. It'll change direction. Okay. I can also change it to a multi-start thread. So click that, and I'll have two starting positions as defined here. I could change that if I wanted to, but you will see some bolts having multi-start threads. So that's an option available there. The last two also allow me to trim with the end with the start face and the end face. So that means that the thread will not go past them points like so. So I've just trimmed there and it's trimmed off that excess that I didn't need. And if I want to extend this thread down to the base. So let's have a look up at the top here. So rather than going blind as a condition, if I go up to select, what that's done is, when I've gone up to this there and clicked that face, what that's done is taking the thread all the way along, but it will revolve it, revolve, revolve it into that last face. So let me show you, if I just tick that, it will actually cut into that final face. Give it a moment. And it's removing material from inside that face, which I don't want it to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my edit here, edit feature. Now I've selected up to that position, I'm going to come back down. I'm going to put trim with end face. So I've selected the end face and trim with that. And that means the thread will not go into that end face so that we won't have issues with that when we're trying to mate it in the future. Tick there. And I have now got my full thread previewed and designed onto the shaft of my bolt. And that's how we create threads. So hopefully that's helped for those of you who are looking at creating threads. Um, if there's any issues, please leave any comments in the comment boxes below. Hope you uh, like and subscribe, and I'll continue to try and add some more content. Hopefully it's helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Action, and click that face.